So the mission today is to install HD4s and every single one of these buses. So I've got my BR1 Mini in my little case here with my 24 plus hours of battery life. And then I've got those ethernet cables plugged into two balance 580s that I'm programming. And then I've got the routers there. And so now I'm gonna program my firmware. So I'm gonna go to firmware policy. Push out the latest firmware to all these guys here. And save and apply. And so now using the BR1 to manage and program the 580s that we're gonna be installing. I just programmed all seven of these routers with speed fusion and IP settings in about seven minutes. I opened up a notepad CSV file and I pasted the serial numbers, IP settings, DHCP settings all into a file. And I actually did it using Excel. Cop and then opened a notepad as a CSV file. Went to settings, device IP settings, pasted the settings into the file there, clicked import, and then all of my devices automatically updated their testing high availability right now. All of my IPs automatically updated. If you click on one of the devices, you'll see that it has the subnet that I've programmed. Then I went to configuration for speed fusion, created a profile. So I just clicked add profile, click star, clicked the router that was the primary, which won't be right now, but boop. clicked the two devices, click next, next, and then finish, and it was done. What we're doing, getting rid of these pieces of junk, and these pieces of junk, satellite, single cellular BS, and replacing it with an HD4, with AT&T and Verizon. The, um, they have these printers and they're doing mobile medical. Sorry for the mess guys, I'll get some after footage as well. But, um, and they were having problems printing and getting access to their EHR with the single cellular throughput of the, this thing. So, and then this thing was very costly and didn't provide the throughput they needed for the price that you can get out of cellular so with the three two AT&T and two Verizon which the antennas are the glue is drying here we are able to get enough bandwidth that they can print and access their EHR and remote desktop and IT guy out here yesterday was they were very fond of uh, these things right here and when they saw this they had some hesitation and then after they we set it up and they programmed the printers yesterday they said that that was almost as fast as sitting in the hospital with the amount of time it takes to send the, to the print server over the VPN and back here. There we go. Got those installed there. I'm just gonna run these antenna cables right here. And so that'll, that'll install like that. Run these through the cabinet up top run those down and run the ethernet in. So as we're gluing these uh, antenna rails down, we did, we did find a good use of the satellite equipment gear. It, it's a great weight to hold the antennas down. Thank you for the satellite gear for uh, allowing us to provide some weight. So here's another system that's being finished. I mean, obviously we're, we got some cable management and cleanup to do, but got it mounted to the wall. We got the, uh, there's a jumper cable that goes over to a switch on this one. And because we don't have enough length to pull that over to there, we're just gonna leave that switch. So by installing the HD4, we eliminated two cabinets worth of junk. These, uh, 
devices here, all this equipment there, all that equipment there. There's a whole bunch more of those those things. All of it's being done right there. We got our eight port switch, which powers all the devices. We got our eight antennas, our GPS and our power, and then our 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi all in one device that's powering the entire facility versus two cabinets of equipment. So we're just finishing up bus number two, wiring. We gotta clean up still, but we've got the, uh, the HD4 mounted, we've got the antennas, cables run. Um, and once again, cleaned up. And you'll see that we got rid of all this junk. Um, so, but overall, uh, really neat and successful uh, build. IT staff has said that it's the fastest they've ever seen on connectivity, um, which is really neat for a hospital to say that. when. They, they didn't have to.